All right. All right, good afternoon. I'm the guy that stands between you and your dinner. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I try to make it as painful as possible. Okay. <laughs> All right. So my talk today is about comparing WooCommerce SaaS versus managed WooCommerce hosting. Um, anybody uh, familiar with WooCommerce? Yeah. yeah, of course you are. How do I show them here, right? <laughs> okay. So um, about myself, if you want to know more about me, just scan the QR code or go to my website. All right, you can find me on my handle over there at the bottom. Okay, and I specialize in geospatial e-commerce and fintech. Uh, another, another info about myself is that I was one of the co-founding members of the WordPress Music Group in Singapore. Um, and then I handed it off to these wonderful people. All right, thank you. Okay, so. Sure. Okay, everybody scanned it already? Right. So in 2017, in WordCamp Singapore, I gave a talk about how uh, I think WooCommerce is going to be disrupted by Shopify. Uh, you can scan that QR code. It will go to the engineers.sg uh, link directly, and you can listen to my rant about WooCommerce. Okay. Uh, and this talk would be a continuation of it. Uh, and uh, hopefully, there's going to be some insights about, about WooCommerce uh, that has changed. Okay, so uh, you can go to slido.com right now. I, I like data and um, just enter that uh, code there, has WCSG19 and answer the question for me. Do you prefer to use WordPress.org or .com for your website? So SaaS is basically things that are hosted, right? versus doc op, things that you need to download and you host yourself, self-hosted, right? Just like to know what people are, are thinking right now. Uh, for some reason, that's not working. There you go. Hopefully that works. No way, it's not working still. Ah, there we go. That's what I'm going to see. So please. There we go. All right, one and one. So .org versus .com, which one do you prefer to use? All right, a lot of people that like to download stuff and install it yourself. Okay. That all? Only top people? Wow. Is it, this time we go smart, right? So I'm, I'm definitely seeing things. <laughs> okay, 13. Give it another minute, I guess. All right, 15. I, I think this kind of like gives an idea of uh, the state of the room right now. Okay, so a lot more people are more technical. They like to download stuff, they like to play around with the code and see what happens, right? Okay, great. <coughs> so that gives me a better idea of the type of people that are here. Okay, so WooCommerce SaaS, what exactly is it? Software as a service. So if you are familiar with WooCommerce plugins, you know you have to download the plugin, you have to install it onto WordPress, and then you activate it, you have to configure a bunch of stuff, uh, you have to set up your products, the prices of products, discounts, couponing, shipping methodology, uh, how you're going to take orders, how going to do refunds, what are your payment gateways, and so on and so forth. Okay, so um, I need to shut down my messengers. Give me a moment <laughs> while I kill all these messages. Okay, there you go. So um, back in 2015, I actually built a WooCommerce SaaS. It no longer functions. I sold that business uh, to somebody else, and um, I became part of that company. Uh, but two years later, it died. So it was a bit sad, and I didn't get to continue my work on uh, WooCommerce SaaS. Um, but uh, somebody else, somebody else around the world, decided to pick up on that and do something about it. Uh, this guy, Sukat, are from Slovenia. And I had a chat with uh, the founder, Dejan, 
uh, Leon Murko uh, had I think about an hour and a half chat with him, talk about uh, how I did WooCommerce SaaS and the, the kind of learnings that I had. Um, and one of the reasons why I wanted to do WooCommerce SaaS was because I really hate WooCommerce. <laughs> when I started out doing WordPress, WooCommerce wasn't my first choice. It was actually WP Engine, uh, a New Zealand-based plugin, kind of like a plugin I really like. And then when Automatic bought WooCommerce over, it became the de facto standard. So, well, you've got to use the standard, right? Uh, and then it had a lot of support and all that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, I, I didn't really like it that much, but uh, I had to do what I had to do. One thing that I uh, uh, hated most about WooCommerce was that um, shipping. Shipping configurations are not very good. There's only fixed rate and flat rate. It's either, sorry, free or flat rate. So it's either free shipping or flat shipping, right? Which doesn't work in most, most cases in e-commerce today. So normally shipping is a tiered platform shipping. Uh, although WooCommerce has a way to install your DHR, your UPS, and whatnot, those are very North American centric, right? For us in this part of the world, not really. Okay, so you don't have your SingPost la, you don't have your, you know, Post Malaysia la, and all that. You know, so you, you probably need to uh, install another plugin and then figure out your tiered pricing by yourself. So that's that's a lot of pain to to figure out the shipping stop pain, All right? So I I tried to resolve that problem, and that's why I sold my company to a shipping or rather a logistics company because they were doing shipping and then I had the shipping automated for me. Right? So that didn't turn out well. Wukar on their hand uh, came from a different paradigm. Uh, they're based in Europe. Uh, so I'll be talking just this to Wukar and WordPress.com. When I talked about uh, this issue back in 2017, um, WooCommerce software service on the WordPress platform wasn't exactly there. Right? Um, you could install WooCommerce, yeah, but it wasn't really a SaaS kind of feel to it. It's not like Shopify or Isuid, right? So uh, let's see what's under the hood at WooCart. Okay, so this is a video of me playing around with WooCart, right? So what's under the hood? This is what you get when you sign up on WooCart. Uh, it's different from your WooCommerce interface, so uh, you can set up your domain immediately from your settings. Uh, and the add-on, you can use your send grid. So email transactions is part of uh, WooCard. Uh, backup is part of WooCard. You can uh, take a look at what plugins are there, what kind of uh, matrices uh, on your page. And there's a CLI, which is pretty neat. Oh, oh accidentally tapped on that, sorry. It's a lot more. Let me just speed things up. Okay. All right. CLI. Uh, oh, too fast. Okay. So CLI, and then you got your <coughs> error logs. All right. And traffic management as well. So a lot of things come under the hood in. Uh, Ucard. What it does is basically it's more of like a, a dashboard for server management. All right. When you sign up Ucard, you immediately get a store, just like Shopify. So a store is immediately created for you, and this is the first thing that you see. And then I can go immediately to my site, right? And everything is already pre-configured, done. Very nice, very sweet. All right. So this is all the basic data. So it's it's, it's demo data. You need to set up your own products data, but it gives you immediately how a store will look like. Okay, and then you can immediately go into your WordPress backend. Okay, so it's using uh, what's this Astra, I think, for the team, it's a default team. The first dashboard interface is slightly different, so they modify the dashboard a little bit. Okay, but everything else is basically WooCommerce vanilla. All right. Uh, so what that means is that, well, they don't really resolve the problem of shipping because that's the most painful part for me. All right, uh, payments are. Well, do whatever you want with payments, default a Stripe, uh, paper, and so on. Okay, uh, but they try to resolve a bit here about shipping. So a lot of things are already pre-configured in terms of the zones, All right. and then you just add on your stuff from there. Okay, so uh, I I wouldn't want to delve more into this. 
uh, let's look at what WordPress has done. So a, a couple of years later, Shopify broke up with WordPress. <coughs> and uh, you can no longer put um, a Shopify uh, links onto WordPress and vice versa. So um, that happened and WordPress decided to go their way and add their own thing. Oh, it's not working anymore. Okay. Um, okay, so WordPress.com. What I like about WordPress.com is that you know it's WordPress interface, uh, WordPress.com interface. So this is what you know my very old blog is like. So I'm just gonna click on the plan. Okay, okay, this is you all seen this before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is WordPress.com's own interface. Okay, so everybody knows what it looks like. I'm just going to move over to the. Okay, everybody knows the customizer. Everybody knows the plugins. I'm just going to. Okay, so so you want to install WooCommerce, all right? Just I'm going to pause there a bit. Okay, you want to install WooCommerce. It's not on your free plan. There are four plans on WordPress.com, so you need to at least be on the business plan. All right, there are two plans that support WooCommerce. It's either the business plan or the e-commerce plan. The differences are in really mostly in terms of support. Everything else more or less the same, in my opinion. Okay, let's see how much that costs. Okay, let's stop. So, business plan costs thirty-five dollars per month, built annually. Okay, so you get a free domain, uh, you get everything in Jetpack, which I hate also. Uh, email and live chat support, uh, unlimited premium themes. So uh, a lot of free themes on WordPress are okay, okay lah. And premium themes are the ones that are really nice, right? So unlimited premium themes are a good thing, okay? Um, and then the e-commerce plan is $63 per month, wow. Okay, so you got everything in business plan and so forth. Uh, obviously, I did not buy and give it a spin because I cannot afford it. That's why I'm looking for a job. <laughs> okay, so just uh, quickly look at how much it costs per year. Okay, so I have some credits apparently. So if I don't have credits, it's going to cost me 422 bucks, 420 bucks. Um, and then, you know, if I'm on the e-commerce plan, it's going to pretty much double the cost. Okay, so. Skip that part. Uh, so basically, SaaS is all about signing up with an email address and then clicking uh, two, three pages, and that's it. You get a store immediately. You can start selling almost immediately. You don't need to configure servers, right? And that's what you want. Because, uh, you know, business people don't want to stress about, oh, who's going to take care of my server? Who's going to support? you know, my, my, my website and all that. Everything to do with SaaS is as a service. No, nobody needs to delve with the code, okay? That's nice, um, but most people like us, developers, want to mess with code. As you can see just now, about 17 people like to mess with code. So what's that in between? Uh, for me, that's WooCommerce Managed Hosting. And uh, the words I'm gonna talk about today, uh, Pantheon and Estify, there's probably a, a lot out there, our sponsors uh, like SiteGround, you know, Bluehost and all that, they've probably got some managed hosting uh, I saw. Uh, but the ones that I'm going to talk about are these two, Pantheon and Nestify, because I kind of think that they have a very nice toolkit. All right. Um, so let's talk about Pantheon first. Okay, Pantheon. So here's a three minute video about Pantheon. This is what you get after you sign up. Uh, it takes less than a minute to sign up. You've got multiple dev environments, development, staging, and live, which is great, right? Uh, you can commit code through JIT, which is nice, right? Uh, or SFTP, if you want SFTP. Uh, there's uh, statuses to tell you whether some uh, jobs are not done or plugins are broken and so on. Uh, error logs, which is very nice. Uh, you can add domains and buy uh, or, or prepare your SSL right seamlessly through Pentium. Uh, backups are inbuilt, okay, and uh, configure your security settings. And there's new relic already part of this dashboard. All right. 
So uh, what happens is that when you sign up for Pantene, immediately you get the site, which is really nice. Okay, so um, you uh, have your vanilla WordPress, but you don't have WooCommerce yet. So they don't have a way to set up WooCommerce immediately, but at least you got your WordPress site immediately, which is very nice. Okay, so if you wanted to install WooCommerce, you need to go to the plugins repository again, and then just install WooCommerce, which is not that bad. All right, but everything else is still vanilla. Okay, it doesn't really solve your shipping issues and so on, but hey, at least you know, your steps to launch are faster. This is slightly different for your one-click installs on your rudimentary uh, shared hosting servers. Uh, what uh, these guys do is that they create a nice environment for developers like us to really develop, develop your site on their environment. So you prepare all the nice environments for you, dev, staging, and live. So you can really do all the kind of stuff that you need to do and test all the kind of stuff that you need to test before it goes to production. This is me testing out the JIT. So I just JIT clone onto my local and then just change something. And then uh, I just need to add a little line there, okay, uh, to make that uh, change. So I'm going to type echo uh, hello, okay, and see whether you know the it does what it really claims to do, okay. I'm going to JIT add and then JIT commit and then JIT push. Type faster lah. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, I have to type in a password. Now, you, you don't need to type in password if you've already added your, um, what you call your keys inside, right? And then, uh, let's see what it changed, okay? Uh, oh, where is it? Where is it? Refresh lah, refresh. Okay, so I had to refresh a few times. Uh, I actually wondered whether it, it was inside the code, didn't really see it there. So, eh, where? Are? No, eh, not there yet. <laughs> so it took a bit of time for JIT to really propagate. Okay, and there you go. Oh, okay, great. So it, it does work. Okay, so that's, that's Pantin. Okay, uh, very nice dashboard, very clean, very pleasing to the eye, and so easy to understand. Okay. Um, so this is great for agencies. If you are agency, um, Pantheon actually has an agency plan. All right. So there are discounted plans if you are an agency and then just onboard new clients through your own dashboard. So you can pack everything into your own uh, organization. All right. As opposed to having a VPS and then load up you know, your separate WordPress or WooCommerce sites and then try to manage everything by yourself which is what you don't want to do. You know, as developers, you just want to code. We don't want to care about you know, uh, maintaining your servers. Okay? So with these guys, you don't need to maintain servers, they maintain it for you. Okay? You just need to code, you just need to push things to JIT. All right? So let's look at Nestify. Nestify is very similar to Pantheon. Um, slightly longer videos, so I try to speed it up a bit. Uh, one thing I like about Nestify is that um, you can actually choose where you want to host your servers. So they used to have a Singapore-based server, they no longer have that. And um, they have WooCommerce uh, as a default, so you can just select WooCommerce as a default and immediately WooCommerce is also pre-installed together. All right, so right now that's processing, processing. Okay, and then you know, doing its magic at the back and launching stuff, uh, launching your WordPress and WooCommerce uh, into their servers. I'm just gonna speed it up a bit. And there you go, okay. So launch. Uh, the servers are launched, all right, uh, don't worry about the password, you know, it's changed anyway. <laughs> uh, SSL is there also, which is nice, uh, there's redirect rules, so you can actually uh, modify your redirect rules directly. Uh, they've got cache there, which Pantheon didn't have, okay? Uh, and then you can choose your PHP versions, which Pantheon also didn't have, all right? Uh, and great, you have JIT, which is what all devs like to do for version control. And you can copy and clone database, which Pentium actually just now didn't have, but they have database access on Pentium as well. Uh, Nestify has PHP by admin, Pentium didn't have. Uh, but it doesn't really matter if you know uh, your database settings, right, if you're on Pentium earlier. Okay, so this is uh, my WooCommerce site. Okay, if I'm going to log in into the admin panel, uh, I would get a vanilla uh, WordPress uh, panel, so nothing 
fancy that, not like Wukan. All right. Okay, uh, but you still need to do that one thing. Install WooCommerce admin before it's properly installed. So, slight difference on SaaS is that you don't need to run this. SaaS, everything is already done. That part is already done. This part is already done. Okay? For managed hosting, no, you got to run this part a bit more. Right? Which is fine. Give your developers, okay, this is fine. All right? But if you are lay people, if you are business guys, and you don't want to deal with this sort of stuff, then okay, not so fine. All right? um, yeah, so this is all vanilla. Uh, I wouldn't really go too much into that. These are all the default Stripe and PayPal, everybody's familiar with that. Okay, so um, I'm just going to go through everything and then see what happens. Uh, here, I install Jetpack. Please don't do that. Jetpack will slow down my site. Okay. Um, yep. Really hit Jetpack. There we go. Uh, okay, and I'm ready to start selling after five minutes. All right, add a new product. So everything's pretty much the same. All right, and then done. Okay. Um, yeah, again, Nestify is also built for agencies. So if you're an agency, this is great. Nestify really helps you out with that. All right, so um, comparison chart, comparison at a glance, what the stuff that Wukart has, WordPress has, Pantheon has, Nestify has. So instant store, um, to be fair, WordPress.com uh, doesn't really have instant store. You still need to click on the install plugin button. Uh, but they have the plan. I assume that if you activate the plan, it is going to be installed for you. I did not try because I cannot afford <laughs> 400 bucks US at that point in time. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> Info, right? No okay. Trial. No free trial. No free trial. Really? No free trial. Okay. Um, Pantheon, you still need to ins click install for your WooCommerce. Nestify, just now, you, as you can see, you can just select WooCommerce beforehand and everything is installed for you. Okay, uh, for the SaaS, obviously there's no JIT. Obviously, you don't have access to your database because it's SaaS. It's just like your Shopify site. You don't have access to JIT. You don't have access to your database. There's no way that you can touch your code. All right, there's no local environments. No. Okay, um, but this is perfect for people who just want to get started uh, into e commerce and don't want to use Shopify, but still want to have freedom uh, of their data and of their code. So you can Anytime, export this out and self-host it yourself, which is great, all right? Now, uh, the one thing about Wukat that I really like is that they actually have a dev environment, which most uh, SaaS platforms don't have. Shopify has it only if you're an agency, not if you're a self, you know, start uh, customer of Shopify, all right? Uh, Wukat actually has a choice of, of server location. I didn't actually go through that earlier. Okay, so you can actually choose where you want to uh, locate your, your site. Uh, Wukat allows you to install custom plugins. WordPress doesn't really allow you to install custom plugins. It's only whatever is on the repository. So you can't really add or import your own plugins. All right. Uh, unless, of course, you upgrade to VIP. Uh, then that's a different story altogether. Uh, custom teams, same thing in, over there. The one thing that is different that WordPress does better than everyone is, of course, space. There's unlimited space. Okay, um, but in terms of user friendliness, I don't think that WordPress.com is as friendly, even with that nice bluish clean interface. Uh, the rest have their own very neat dashboards, right? Um, the price, Wukart, wow, Euro five bucks per month. Okay, thanks. <laughs> uh, and um, you can see how uh, that's like for the others. Okay. Poll time, which e-commerce platform do you use? Quick, 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 I got five minutes. <laughs> WooCommerce, Shopify, others? <laughs> do I really need to pull that? <laughs> okay, good, I, I need data. Eh? I need data, come on. <laughs> what, easy copy? <laughs> come on. <laughs> okay. Is it moving? Sometimes I don't know whether Slido works, you know, it's like there's a lag or something. Let me just uh, see whether that works again. Hey. 
ايه I should give it a minute, then it changes. Probably by then there will be the stats coming out. Not loading? Have I maxed out my slider account? <laughs> WooCommerce! <laughs> Shopify! We're so shy. Others! Okay. It's not really loading up. Oh man, Slido, come on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, um, I'm just comparing SaaS here, okay? So, uh, just add Shopify into the mix, all right? Instant store, everything you have, except for those four things, okay? Um, so, we can see the price differences is really quite a lot. Yeah, now, bear in mind, again, WordPress.com, you have to pay annually, which is very painful, all right? For WooCard, no, everything's monthly. Shopify, everything's monthly, okay? Okay, which e-commerce SaaS platform do you think is better? I hope this time it works. Is it the same question? <laughs> it's a different question, right? Slow to load. Again. Should, uh, yeah, you, you're right, you should have the green bar. It's not loading up for some reason. Yeah, it's not loading up. Okay. Um, the poll is still active. I think. No active polls at the moment. That's strange. Server maintenance. Server maintenance huh? Okay, never mind. I'm going to assume everybody says WooCommerce. <laughs> okay, so this is what the stats really say. This is coming from the horse's mouth themselves. Uh, back in 2017, this was 3 million, now it's 5 million. Okay, a lot of people are telling me you're going to eat your own shorts. Okay, you know, WooCommerce is better than Shopify. Just look at the stats. That's all you need to see, right? Okay, 5 million. Yeah, just look at the stats. Downloads and installations as of August 2019. Uh, take a look at the WordPress plugin download content you should match. All right. According to the Shopify investor report, uh, in quarter four 2018, there were 800,000 active Shopify sites. Back in 2017, that was half a million. So add on another 300,000. Now these are all nice and everything, but as we all know, Mark Twain used to say, there are three types of lies. Lies, them lies, and statistics. Okay. None of them are actually telling the truth because if you look at third party, uh, uh, data. This is from built with uh, top 1 million sites, WooCommerce at 25%, Shopify is 20% of the top 1 million sites. Uh, top 10,000 sites, Shopify is a bit more, actually a lot more. At 20%, WooCommerce is about 4% at the top 10,000 sites. Alright, so I'm not going to eat my shots. Uh, in Singapore, it's pretty even Steven, Shopify 25% and WooCommerce at 23%. Alright, so um, time for Q and A. Uh, obviously, Sido is not working at the moment, right? So, uh, just shout out your answers, okay? Question. Question time. Which one is better? <laughs> you ask my own professional opinion. To be fair, I hate Shopify also. Sorry? <laughs> to be fair, I hate Shopify also. I just hate WooCommerce more. <laughs> All right. So I'm agnostic. I don't really care so long as the, it benefits the customer. Okay, and most customers are not tech. They don't understand it, so they just want to, to use whatever works, right? <coughs> My personal preference is easy wit. Easy wit, personal preference, okay? Anybody else, any other questions? Yes. I'm proud from Pantheon. And again, thank you, nice, nice slides. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, thank you. I was able to miss, you have like a chart there? Yeah. Um, the, the first row yes. is in, what's that? It's instant site. Instant site. Yeah. What, uh, I was able to miss that part, what, what does that mean? So my, my definition for it is uh, in terms of WooCommerce site, not a WordPress site. So 
uh, for Pantin, you still need to go to the plugin repository and click on install WooCommerce. For Nestify, you don't need to do that. It, you can just select WooCommerce from the beginning of the dashboard, and when it uh, finishes loading up, WooCommerce is ready installed. Yeah. Thanks. Any other questions? How many, how many more time do I have? I'm done? <laughs> I'll take two more. This one? Okay. So actually from here, do you like a green thing? Yeah. So from the, uh, I mean, this one is public data, right? Yes, public data. So from here, do so you I'm, think... I'm not making this up. <laughs> Okay, so, so do you think that uh, WooCommerce is better? Because, uh, this one is, uh, so, yeah, so WooCommerce is great for some things, not great for others. It's great for us developers, all right? It's great for customization. Uh, it's free as in free speech, okay? So if you want endless customizations, yes, use WooCommerce, okay? Uh, amongst all the e-commerce platforms, uh, WooCommerce, Magento, la, uh, and what's the other one that people like to talk about? I don't know. Sorry? Joomla, so, something like that. Right? I, I kind of feel that WooCommerce is still better than Magento because there's less tables. Magento uh, 2 still installs 300 plus tables. Right? So it's very heavy, the footprint is very heavy so, and, and, and people still don't understand how to use it. Okay? Um, uh, so I kind of feel WooCommerce is still a little bit more friendlier and lighter. Right? Anything else? One more? Okay, yes. I saw on some third party uh, website, I saw some um, website like every international uh, or this, uh, they, uh, uh, another website, uh, uh, they like to sell uh, Shopify, uh, but up for sale that website. So I had this perception that Shopify uh, is used by most of the top seller of Amazon and Mm -hmm. Shopify should be better. I don't know. I, mm -hmm. I have limited knowledge mm -hmm. of this area. Yeah. Any, so, any so one thing that Shopify is very good at is actually it was already built for um, medium-sized retailers from the beginning and uh, it allows you to scale fast because it's on, on the cloud, right? Uh, whereas WooCommerce, most, most of WooCommerce installs are self-hosted. Right, uh, I uh, they're not really on uh, WordPress VIP or they're not really on AWS. So more normally they're on your shared hosting service. Right. So uh, for Shopify, one thing good about that is that you know you can scale without thinking too much, and everything is done by them. It's not done by your developers. Okay. So the perception is good only because that you take care of a lot of things on the back. It's like VIP, but you know for smaller size guys. But you have to bear in mind that. Um, the, uh, a lot of things that you want, there's a price to it. There's a very heavy price to it. So the cheapest ones are $29 a month, but some things like automatic tiered shipping is coming at a price of 299 bucks per month. That's even more expensive than your own WordPress.com. Yeah? Any other questions? Not. Yes, I'll take this one more. Hi. Also from Malaysia. Hi. Okay. Um, usually when we come to e-commerce, uh, I always uh, find out, find out uh, that uh, a lot of articles saying that uh, WooCommerce and or WordPress uh, are only for small to medium business, not for large business. Why is that? Perception. Perception? Uh, or, 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 or more to like uh, traffic when we... No, it's, it's not. It's not. Uh, okay. Uh, one concern is actually the way that the table structure is organized. Um, I think it might have changed recently. Uh, to be fair with you, and to be frank with you, I have not touched WooCommerce for about two years, so I can't really say of the latest changes. Okay. Um, but back in 2017, at least, uh, the table structure was very bad, so the parts about the variants are tough to uh, work with. But on Shopify, it's a lot easier because it was already directed at at retail e-commerce. So um, it's great for 5,000 SKUs and below. Above that, you might see your site slow down. Yep. In, in that case, Magento would be better because they are configured for more than 5,000 SKUs. That's why they have more than 300 tables. Yeah. So, so is the SKU or more like a 
structure. Table structure, basically. Because there's you know weird things going back in the WooCommerce tables, basically. Yeah. yeah thank you. Okay, all right, so just one more slide actually. So this is uh, helping out the friends over there at WooCard. Okay, so if you are here today, um, they come in seven days free trial, but if you send them an email to that website, just scan that and, and you'll get an additional 14 days. All right, just say my name, hey, for additional 14 days. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, I will not be at the after party, so you want to talk to me, talk to me <laughs> immediately after this. All right, thank yeah, you so thank much. You. Thanks. Thank you.